Welcome to this channel about cryptocurrency education. Today we give you a short introduction to Bitcoin. So if you try to figure out what Bitcoin is, this video is for you. In the year 2008, a person or group called Satoshi Nakamoto published a white paper that was called Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. Until today, nobody knows who Satoshi Nakamoto is or what, because it could even be just a group of people. However, since that publication of the white paper, nobody has ever heard of that person or group again. Already one year later, in January 2009, the first Bitcoin was mined. That was a milestone. Bitcoin started as a curiosity that only a few people took serious at the time. Now, of course, as you might know, this has changed. Originally, it was defined as digital currency. However, today, Bitcoin can rather be seen as a digital asset to protect money from inflation. The problem of traditional monetary systems is mainly that there is no limited amount of money. It can be multiplied as often as possible, which can lead to inflation. This is what happens at the moment around the world. The amount of money that is in the economy is increasing due to central banks printing money. Well, they are not really necessarily printing it, but this is for another video. They are definitely issuing money. And we can also see that inflation is going up across the board. Asset, especially it started with asset prices and now we can see it in commodities. In contrast, however, compared to that monetary system, Bitcoin cannot just be multiplied randomly. The quantity of Bitcoin is limited to 21 million. There will never ever be more than 21 million Bitcoin. You could say that gold is physically limited, whereas Bitcoin is limited by mathematics. Many people ask, what is actually the intrinsic value of Bitcoin? Well, it's hard to answer, but really, what is the intrinsic value of gold? What is the intrinsic value of the dollar? As you can see, it is really a question of trust. And many people believe that there is a, gold has a lot of value because it really is physically limited. And Bitcoin, you could say, is a digital counterpart, which is limited by mathematics. Bitcoin today has become a fantastic asset that can protect from potential inflation or hyperinflation of fiat currency. A further problem of these fiat currencies is that they are centrally organized. Fiat currencies are all currencies that are issued by governments, such as the dollar, the pound or the euro, and which are not backed by a physical commodity, such as gold and silver. The central banks of this world manage fiat currency and have a lot of freedom in this respect. Bitcoin, however, is based on a decentralized network, which is also called the, black, the blockchain. We're going to look at the blockchain in another video. There is no single entity, not one person or one institution that can move Bitcoin into a certain direction. It is an entirely decentralized network which cannot be stopped, which cannot be switched off without switching off all the nodes which are part of that network. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. It is really the introduction video of this YouTube channel that will focus on Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in total in the near future. Hope you liked it. If you did, then please smash the like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Thank you.